Well, I feel very good being here because it's the first time the Cayman Islands has its own booth. And we're hosting partners in our booth for meetings. But in addition to that, we have our Cayman Islands Airports Authority with us. And we are talking about the facility to upgrade at Owen Roberts International Airport. We are expanding the runway at Owen Roberts International Airport to hopefully expand long haul flights into and out of the destination. So this is a critical meeting point for us as we expand and you know, conduct business development efforts for the Cayman Islands. We say long haul, what kinds of opportunities do you think exist for the Cayman Islands with this expansion? So we're looking at Brazil and Peru and Argentina. We're looking to expand markets into Europe, so Germany, Italy, France, Switzerland. Just being able to diversify the destinations that fly into and out of the Cayman Islands and also flatten our seasonality. At the moment, the United States is our primary source market and it has a distinct season. So our summer and fall requires more support. So we're hoping that if we look to South America and to Europe, we'll be able to fill those gaps and flatten our seasonality overall. And lots of new hotel development projects taking place on the island as well, as it were, once, once these people start to arrive. So excited because we have a lot of cranes in the air in Grand Cayman. Uh, we just uh, approved the Vida Cayman Eco Resort, which is 18 rooms uh, in Barker's West Bay. But also next month, we look forward to the opening of the Hotel Indigo. Uh, One GT is a downtown hotel which is progressing very nicely. It's on its eighth floor of construction. And also the Grand Hyatt and the Hilton Kailani are also under construction. So overall, we'll have about 1,200 rooms over the next two to three years.